For this month's use and abuse, I am going to talk about my rig safe. And a rig safe is not something I've always used in my fishing. For many years, I used to store my rigs in little bags, little pots all over the place. But there came a time where I thought, actually, that's far from the best way to do it. And when it comes to your rigs, if you're going to pre-tie them, you need to store them properly. You know, they're, they are very important when it comes to catching carp. So if you take the time to tie your rigs up, why not store them properly in the nice little box? And a long time ago, I started using the quarter rig safe. The one I had at the time was 12, 14 inches long. It was good, but it wasn't great, to be honest. Catchers used to snap off of it. It was a bit of a ratty old plasticky thing. Good for its time, but has now been completely revamped. And this one, and the ones that accompany this within the range of rig safes and rig boxes. These are much, much nicer and much better products on the whole. So I thought I'd talk about one because I use this all the time in my fishing. And a long time ago, I did a video about this rig safe and I said in it that this will catch you more carp. And I didn't mean if you haven't got one of these, you're gonna catch any less. What I meant was if you have your rig stored safely in a compartment somewhere in your bag, ready to go, that will catch you more fish. And that is 100% truth in that. I tend to spend a lot of time when I tie my rigs. It doesn't take me five minutes, you know, they, they do take me a little while to do them. And to have 20 or 30 tied up, or even 10, whatever, to have any rigs tied up in advance of your session saves you time when you're on the bank. And when you spread that across the years fishing, all those minutes that you've saved, that will catch you more fish. So yeah, I made that statement based on that fact alone. And this rig safe now is something I use all the time. I do not go fishing without it. And generally inside, I've got a nice array of rigs tied up, ready to go. The session I'm on today, gone for a little bit of pasty bashing. We're into December, so it's always nice to go get a bend in the rod. And if I open it up, you'll see that the rig safe isn't exactly brimming with rigs, but it was when I got here. I've caught quite a lot of fish today. And um, as I've caught a fish, the rig goes in the bin. And this is what I'm left with. These ones here, they're, uh, Rigs I've used on other lakes, but I can use on a lake like this, you know, so I may not cast them out when I'm fishing for the carp of my dreams, but on a little lake like this where I'm just fishing for bites, that's what these rigs here are. Um, and this side is where I keep all my fresh ones. But within this rig safe, you can store 40 rigs. Um, it's made from a hard plastic. There's foam through the middle here. It's, this one is eight inches long, but there's also a longer one. But yeah, hard over molded plastic, and it's got quite a nice soft touch to it. Uh, the bar here at the top, is now aluminium on the original one it was plastic it's fitted with magnets if i close it up you can hear that grab sharp and again when you open it you know nice strong magnets so plenty of resistance the last thing you want is your rig safe to open up in your bag your rigs to get damaged and you don't really want any moisture going in your rig safe either unfortunately i have got a little bit i had a rainstorm a little while ago while i was playing a fish my rig safe was open and it's got a bit wet but yeah the idea of those magnets is to make the rig safe Closure, nice and simple. You haven't got to mess around with the catches, but at the same time, they grip nice and tight and ensure that it stays shut. Or in this case, open. <laughs> stays, I went stays shut. <laughs> um, the rig safe comes supplied with 50 pins in total. 30 of these little ones here, just your standard single pin, and 20 of the double pins, which you can see here, which as you will see there, you can use to grip more than one rig at once. Or if the rig's too long, you go, round the bar and back up and pin it in place like that. So it's up to you. And you can also use it to pin a rig in that doesn't have a loop or a swivel at the end, you know, so the tag end left completely loose. Up to you, but yeah, 50 pins in total and two different variety of pins. And if we turn it over, close it up. On the outside here, there's a ruler. Starts at zero and goes up to 20 centimeters or eight inches, which will enable you to measure perfectly the rigs in which you want to store within this box. A product that like I said in the past, will change your fishing to a degree, but most importantly, it's going to keep all your rigs nice and safe. When you get to the lake, you don't have to waste time tying them. And for $17.99, it's not going to break the bank either.